why this is going to be a very basic guide for uh, how to run any percent, and then a guide for how to use the auto splitter that I wrote. So first of all, um, any percent runs involve using a fresh save file. So each time you run, you need it to generate its own save file, which involves um, not having a save file. So in order to not have a save file, you uh, need to delete the file, which is uh, in your local low. So you get to percent update a percent. Local low, super hot, super hot VR. Um, and it'll be in here. And it'll be a file called uh, VR super dot hot. And that'll be the file. And so you need that to not be here. Right now, I would be ready for a run because there's no file there, which means I have a clean thing. So when I go ahead and actually start up uh, super hot VR, it'll generate its own save file. Um, going into here with that percent and everything is a pain though, so that I would not suggest doing that. Instead, you can make a, a batch file um, that can go ahead and do it for you. So you just you just uh, make a new text. The easy way to do this is you just right click, new text file, and then uh, make sure you have file extensions uh, turned on, which I'll let you figure out through some other tutorial because it's pretty standard. You should have it. Um, but then you just you know you do super hot reset dot bat and so it'll do that then you can edit it and you want it to look like something like this um, so you want to delete wherever it is and this will change based on uh, how your file system is set up but this is pretty standard um, what it should look like so there's that and so what you do is uh, whenever you finish a run or you have to reset you uh, you'll close super hot you will run that file, which will delete the save file, and then you can just you know start it up standard again, either via here or via through the headset itself. So that's that's all you really need to do. If you want to just go out pump runs, uh, just rec set up a recorder and go ahead and uh, run this batch, batch file in between uh, whenever you want to do a run. That is really all you need. Now, if you want to get a little fancier and do automatic splitting for your run, then you can use a Python script that I made. And so. Uh, this Python script uh, you can get from the speedrun site. This is what it looks like. Um, so if you go to speedrun.com slash shvr slash resources, or you know, go to the super hot VR place and go to resources, um, you can see it's under tools. So just go ahead and download that. It's a direct download. Um, pretty standard, you know, just unzip that file, whatever. Um, and you'll get this, and it's not quite ready to go. Um, this is kind of just a thing that I put together kind of quickly. Um, just as a kind of experiment, I realized how the save file worked. I'm like, hey, this will be probably easy to make a little Python script there. So I went and just did it. So the way that this works is that uh, if we go back to that thing, just to explain to you what this is doing so you understand it. Um, if you go back to the save files, save files are actually very easy to parse through. Um, there's this weird little thing that's basically set up in JSON where you have a bunch of mess of just random stuff here you know, is however, uh, whatever it does for the game. And then you have this JSON-like organization of all this, um, of all these variables, all these uh, arrays. And so it looks through these, and one of the things it sees is highest finished level. So it says what your, uh, your highest level is. I can uh, zoom this in a little bit too. Um, and so that will actually update live as you're playing the game. So as you progress from one level to the next, your highest finish level in this save file will update itself. And so it'll go from one text to another text. So all this does is it uh, looks at that text. Um, see, it searches for, uh, with regex, it searches for your highest finish level and then just uh, compares it. So if that last level is different from your current level, then we change levels and you can go ahead and split. Um, so it does that. It also looks for a little, to end the run, it looks for game finishes true. Might be game finishes true, which has your final split. Oh my goodness! But yeah, um, so pretty pretty standard basic kind of scripting. And so it what it does is it just presses your split key whenever you whenever it detects those things. So the thing is that there's two things that are basically hard coded in here that you're going to need to change. Um, the first one, and I say this in the top of the comments, the first one is your uh, the file path uh, to where your file is. Like I, like I said for making your um, auto-delete batch file, 
you're going to need, this might change depending on what kind of file system uh, setup you have. So again, in here, you might have something different, so you're going to need to change that. So if you just go to one of the first uh, variables in the top here, path equals blank, and uh, in a string. And just like I said, this is the path to your, uh, your Superhot VR save file. And I give them an example of what mine is, and so you just need to go ahead and put in what your path is in there. So in that string you say C slash users slash Joe Schmo, you know, whoever you are and do that and do that. It'll probably be the same thing as what I have, maybe, but just in case I have this open so you can do that and that's that's, that's then what it'll look for. Um, in addition, uh, different people use different uh, buttons for splitting. Um, I use the end key uh, for doing a split. Because what this is, is, you're supposed to use this with live split essentially. So let me, uh, I'll open that real quick. But live split is just the standard uh, splitting software that a lot of people use. You can use whatever you want; doesn't matter. Um, I use live split. But uh, what you do is that um, it'll press whatever key corresponds to a split key. So in this case, end. When I press end, it'll start the timer. It'll do a split. Um, and so this will automatically press the keys for me. It's not interacting directly through any programming interface with Live Split. It's just actually emulating key presses. Um, let's not save those splits. So that's the only thing that I hard coded was the end key. Um, so you're going to want to do it to whatever key you have. You can either just change your Live Split to be the end key, or you could also uh, go ahead and go into this code and change this. Uh, uh, then key. So it's set up to this uh, corresponding code kind of thing. So the way you're going to find that, and I'll put this link in the description, just like I put all the other links in the description. But uh, on the Windows site, you can see all these virtual buttons. So say you use the backspace key for it, you uh, would replace you would replace that with 0x08, right? So you just replace that there and there, and you should be good to go. Um, so pretty standard. Those are two things that you'll need to change, and then it should be good to go. So essentially, what you'll want to do is you'll want to just run this whenever you're running your game. Now the problem is, um, the problem is that you uh, need the game to be already running when you start this. You can't run this and then run the game and then have it be working. Um, the way that it works, since there's no good way to detect, uh, for two reasons, there's no good way to detect when the game starts. There's no variable to look at there. Um, and the file isn't going to set up until you actually start the game, so there will be nothing to look at for the code. So the way that I do it is that whenever I want to start the timer, which uh, the way that we time it for any percent is when you shoot the guy in the head, um, you start the file at that same time. And what it will do is it will initially do the split, which will start the timer. Um, and then it will go ahead and be able to look through that. But because of that, you're going to need to have the game started already, so you're going to need to find a way to actually um, run this as you're running your game, like to start this as you're running your game. Um, so the way that I do that is there's a couple ways you can do that. You could, you could just start up the game, uh, minimize it, then... Uh, the game will be running in the background, and you can just uh, like double click it or whatever, double click something, or start this, run this Python program when you do it. Um, or what I'd use is I use a program called Voice Attack, which I will put a link to in the description. Um, it looks, let's see, it's getting everything, but this is a voice recognition thing that can uh, actually run programs for you. So what I did is I set up whatever I say timer to, should to do. Okay, I, I'm talking too much for it to recognize it, but when I say that word. <laughs> I won't say uh, to specifically because then it will know. Um, it'll run the application. So the way that you do that is you. Uh, well, first of all, you need a you need a a bat file similar to the bat file that you made to do that to actually run this thing. So also, obviously, um, I guess I didn't say this earlier, but hopefully it's understandable. You need a Python. You need Python installed to do this. Um, in this case, you need Python two. Um, but yeah, so so I just have a bat batch file that runs Python. And so, again, you'll need to make your own because this will not be the same um, for you as it will be for me. So you'll need to do the path to that. But then once you have that, you can uh, go ahead and create a new command in this and say, when I say, whatever you want to say, I said timer. Um, whenever you do that, then you can say other Windows run an application. And so you can have it run that application. You can go to the batch file that you have, you know, 
Go to super hot auto split dot bat. And it will go ahead and run that whenever you say whatever word that is. And so what you can do is that as you're as you are pulling the trigger to start your run by killing the guy, you say that at the same time and the timer will start and then auto all the auto splits will be going on. Um it's pretty standard. I like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um and that is pretty much all there is to it. So it will go through and uh, and automatically press whatever key you have it set to press for as you do that. Um, please note that uh, this is actually using a different um, different splits than were standard prior to the auto splitter um, when we just split it uh, manually um, because what we were doing was we were splitting it whenever we started the end of the level, whenever we grabbed the pyramid or uh, uh, to go to the next level. But the way that this is X is it, it's checking for whenever the last level is different from the current level, which means when you actually enter the next level. So it's not going to be quite the same amount of timing. Um, there's also one extra level because the place where you start uh, is considered its own level transition from there to the, to the real first level. So that's an extra thing. So this, the timing for your splits is going to be completely different. Also, when you finish the game, the way that we end times is uh, is on the pyramid exploding at the end, the giant pyramid. But that's not when it considers the game finish. It considers the game finish after you shoot yourself in the head and it says super hot a bunch of times, and then you go, and then right as you enter the main menu on that frame, it uh, considers it's finished, and that's when this program will consider it finished. So... Don't rely on the auto split um, for in terms of what your actual official leaderboard time will be, because the ending time of your leaderboard time versus the ending time of this auto splitter will be different. So you need to realize that uh, I have two separate split files with my live split that'll look at that. Um, so make sure you know that. But it, should, it, but it does everything automatically for you, so if you want to stream, for example, or you just want to keep track of uh, your best times more easy, um, this is a great tool to use. I might, I will probably maybe update this in the future to make it a bit better, because, yeah, there's all this weird, awkward stuff here um, and everything, but this is all I'm going to do for now, and I think that it's good to get this out to people so that they can use it. So, um, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a YouTube comment or whatever, or just contact me. We have a Discord, um, super hot Discord, so you can come hop by in there. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.